marriage reminds us that two are better than one. God himself came and gave his life to make us part of his family. And so today as we gather here with Kelsey and Dylan, we are rejoicing with them as they set out to form a new family of their own. seen someone so devoted to her. I mean, he refuses to sleep on in their bed because he doesn't want to be there without her. I mean, how much more can you get? God's intention for you two as you join together in marriage, you're going to share your lives together. From now until the day that one of you or both of you dies, which hopefully is decades into the future. She was taken from his rib, not from his head that she might rule over him, and not from his feet that he might walk all over her, but from close to his heart that he might love her, and from under his arm that he might protect her. The Bible describes that as, as the love, like the love that Christ loved the church with. And because of this fusion of lives, this relationship between you two is going to be closer than any other relationship. Dylan, I'm very proud of you and proud to be your sister. To watch you go from this little boy sticking close to my side when we started a new school to being a very honest, humble, loyal, and loving man. You and Kelsey are best friends. I know what it's like to be best friends with you. It's the best. Giving my fear to the dust And let it unfold how it wants Bring out the truth Dylan, you're marrying a woman who's made in the image of God. And in her, you are to invest all of your efforts to make her holy, just like Christ made the church holy. You're going to take her hand and you're going to walk through life together, as I describe it as a co-pilgrimage. You guys are walking together from now on. Kelsey, you're marrying a man made in the image of God. And you're committing to walk hand in hand with him in a lifelong pursuit of God. And you two, together, in the sight of God, and these witnesses are committing to each other. This is a decision that you'll live with the rest of your life. In the presence of God and these assembled witnesses promise to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity whose hand you now hold, do you promise to be in all circumstances true and faithful so long as you both shall live? I do. I do. I, Dylan, take you, Kelsey, to be my lawfully, lovely, lawfully, lovely wife. Sorry, I'm, I'm so nervous now. <laughs> I, Kelsey, take you, Dylan, to be my lawfully wedded husband. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. Richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish until death do us part. To love and to cherish until death do us apart. To love and to cherish until death do us part. And to this I pledge my faith. And to this I pledge my faith. you, Dylan, and Kelsey have consented together in holy wedlock and have declared it publicly in the presence of these witnesses by the taking of vows and the exchanging of rings. 
I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But those whom God has joined together, let not man separate. Dylan, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dylan Scoopian. So if everyone could raise your glass, and to the new Mr. and Mrs. Scoopian. Fathers, we celebrate this covenant of marriage today. We rejoice that you have brought Dylan and Kelsey together, and we look forward to the days of their lives as they live them and follow after you together. I pray that they would be constantly reminded of their love for each other because of the love that you have had for us, that Christ came to die for us, to give us eternal life. And now as they join together, they are committing to one another to love and to honor and to cherish until death do them part as they walk together in the love that you have had for us. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. Enjoy this uncut footage. Just like I was an accident. Did they get uncut? Yeah.